All right, so every time I post this video, a lot of people always ask me, how do you create this effect? So I want to finally show you how to do it for an ass music video. Let's dive into it. So the first thing you're going to need is a Polaroid. I'm going to probably make this available so you can pick this up. Just download it and um, you're going to just use this as your template for your photo, basically. Next, you're going to need some photos. So I just went to my Instagram. I just looked for a photo that I like. Next, you got to take this over into After Effects. All right, so here we are in Adobe After Effects. And the first thing we gonna need to do to our shot is track it. So come over here to this tracker, click your clip and just hit track camera. All right, so now we have our camera track. Essentially what we just did was created a camera from this video clip that we could place on a separate layer and then we could start adding things inside of it. So how do you know if your camera is tracked? You're gonna see these points, these trap points is basically where you're going to be placing whatever you want in this space so for example i'm going to right click over this trap point and create a camera and solid so once you create your solid you should see this blue the marker or whatever color it is once you click on it you should now see these 3d controls and i don't know if you ever worked in a 3d space before but you're gonna have the x the y the z all that is just going to help you to position whatever you important in here the best way is possible. So X is going to be up and down. Z is going to be left and right. Just play with it. The more you play with it, the more the better you'll understand it. The Y is going to be like, if you want to rotate it in that space, the more you play with it. So the next thing we want to now do is import our photos. So I want to come over to this clip. I want to right click it. I want to go to reveal, reveal layer source and project. Come over here, right click, replace footage, file. I'm gonna import our photo. So we have our beginning stages of the floating photo. And as you can see, we need to size this up. So I'm gonna bring this here and just pull this. Oh, we can just hit S, go to scale and just bring this up. I'm gonna bring it up to say 500. Okay, so we imported our photo. I'm gonna now fix this in the appropriate place it probably won't look the same as the first video, but I'm gonna just show you like basically how I get it done. I don't know if you wanted to make the exact same thing, but yeah, so basically I just rotated the photos in a way that it just, you know, felt cool to me. Just how I position them. I'm gonna scale this up again. Cool, so now I'm gonna play this and we're gonna see what we have so far. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. Now, I wanna add more to it. So basically, what I did for example, the fire, I did the exact same thing. You wanna just come over again, wherever you have your, your track camera, right? I wanna create another solid. This time I'm gonna push the solid above the photo. And this is gonna be basically the the format or the beginning stages for the flame, right? So I'm gonna replace this with the fire. So I just replaced my blue solid with the fire. Now I gotta turn it upright and scale it up. Scale it up to like 500. Push this up some more. This is how I added the fire on top of it, which made it a lot cooler, you know? I'm gonna hit screen on the blend mode. That gets rid of the black. Come here. Scale this up a little bit more. Say 700. That's good. Then I also added a mask to this to avoid the, um, you start seeing the little black, the little, you start seeing the little screen effect around the, the flame. So to avoid that, I just keep here and mask, mask that out. Then I came over to the mask controls and just feather, feather the mask just so it's not in a box like, you know. So right there should be cool. So now when we play this, we should have something that looks like this, right?
for me, I wanted to get more into VFX and I was just practicing using, you know, this shot we took at the studio and it turned out pretty good. So now when I, you know, finalize this look and then I apply it to a music video, that's where you get cool VX effects like this. So I thought this was pretty cool. I'll leave these assets inside of the pro pack if you want to check these out just so everything is in one folder. So yeah, be sure to check that out. But yeah, this is how you go ahead and get this floating photo with the fire effect. And as you can see, everything looks as professional as possible. Ain't nothing look like, you know, you didn't know what you was doing. Everything looked nice and clean. And you could add as many fire and photos as you want. And, you know, fix it however you want. But basically, this is what I did to get it. And it turned out pretty cool. And every time I post it, people ask me. So this is how you do it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'm out.